With every passing day, we can see the development and the movement of the plates in the form of the earthquakes locations. For example, this one was in the Reconista, and the earthquakes were up to magnitude 3 in the Richter scale. You could see it also uh, some of it in the ocean. We could see the depth of these earthquakes, and when we plot them on a, on a diagram, this is the form that you take. Big earthquakes coming from the uh, deeper uh, lithosphere, the earth crust, from the depth of uh, up to 15 uh, kilometers and rising gradually to the surface. This is the earthquakes created by the pool of the uh, Eurasian plate. And uh, I will mention why Eurasian plate here is very important. So that's the Reconista, this big circle toward the left is the location of those earthquakes now we had it uh, uh, that uh, area is quiet then we see in the uh, soil sink volcanic system in the middle part you see the rising bubbles those circles rising also in the area of the clear far what which is the uh, chrysovic volcanic system also you see that these are all when we plot them again you can see the movements along the plate this is all inside the eurasian plate most important in the Icelandic setting is the Eurasian plate. And uh, when we plot them, we see that it sometimes it's quiet, but these quiet earthquakes, these uh, smaller earthquakes are due to the movement of the magma. The bigger ones, the bigger circles are the tectonic cracks, fractures forming, and the smaller ones are the magma, which is actually following ahead of it when these things happen. And earthquakes actually, as I mentioned, is like a shaking of a catch up. It makes it possible to flow. So we plot these uh, earthquakes and we see that the pool is toward the uh, Eurasia, from the Eurasia. That is a plate boundary. Eurasia is the biggest, one of the biggest plates on the planet Earth, probably second to African plate. And you can see that it has a big uh, subduction in the Yangtze plate, Amur plate, and the Pacific plate. So practically pulling due to the slap uh, weight and the gravity is more than the North American plate. And that's the reason we have these uh, uh, sequences of the earthquakes in that area. All these volcanic systems sourcing the Hengul and Rekinista and the uh, 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 other ones, uh, El Dwarf and others. At the moment, it's quiet in that area, but when we look at those uh, 3 models, you could see that we had uh, mostly the location of them coincides with the blue line. Blue fissure is the K1 fissure, and this is where I predict that this will be the eruption happening this time. This is the old uh, K1 fissure. We had already two eruptions there and this will continue probably, this pattern will continue.